Hi, I'm Troy Little. I'm a cartoonist in Charlottetown, and you're watching Compass on CBC, and it starts right now. Tonight, despite my doctor's orders, Coming up, yeah, I'm guys. here. Senator Mike Duffy arrives on Parliament Hill for a debate on his future in the Red Chamber. A debate over allowing mixed martial arts on PEI. And a very big gig. I don't want to let any of the other fans down. I have a, a lot to live up to. A charlatan artist is behind a comic book with a huge audience. Well, he's the talent behind the very popular first issue of the new Powerpuff Girls comic book series. And Troy Little lives and works right here on PEI. Sarah Fraser with his story. Step inside this suburban home and enter the weird and wonderful world of Troy Little. He and his wife Brenda are graphic artists, drawing for two major comic book series. Brenda works on My Little Pony, while Troy creates Powerpuff Girls. I actually love the Powerpuff Girls, and I've, I've been a big fan of the show way back in the 90s when it first came out. How does a PEI graphic artist get a job like this? The California publisher knew him from previous work. They'd published several of Little's own graphic novels. This is my first issue. So when they got the rights to publish Powerpuff comic books, they offered it to him. It's very, very cool. I mean, that's one of Cartoon Network's biggest properties, and so kind of be given full reign to write and draw the stories. As a fan, um, you know, I, I don't want to let any of the other fans down. I have a, a lot to live up to. Little says he does get some inspiration from watching episodes of the TV show, but the comics all start with a script that Troy himself writes. If they think it looks good, if everything works for them, then I'll take that and I'll blow it up um, on 11 by 17 illustration board. And uh, I'll print it out in a blue line or pencil it in and then go in with the brush pens and the markers and ink it all in. Okay, then... is this one done? That one's done. It's grueling. <laughs> it's very, very intense. My editor calls uh, working on monthly comics a monster, and she's accurate with that. Me and Brenda and our twin daughters, Allison and Hayden. Little says it's likely customers who will decide when this gig is over for him. The first issue of the Powerpuff Girls comic book ranked number 50 in sales in North America. Little says that's excellent and should keep him busy for years to come. Sarah Fraser, CBC News, Charlottetown.